Okay, here's a, a modified trachea choke that I'm going to work from here. Now, what I did this time, which was a little different than what I've done in, uh, in other situations and other scenarios, is I trapped his arm. And I just wanted to trap the arm this time just to show you that you can trap the arm here and it's going to make your submission a lot easier to get because now he can only defend with one arm. So what I did here was I just grabbed his arm, I pushed it down. As I pushed it down, I just released my leg here. So let me turn a little bit so you can see the details. I'm just going to push his arm down and release my leg. I'm going to come over top of his arm and I trap it here. If you can, even to make it even tighter, you can even stick your foot behind their back, make it even tighter for you. Then you can finish here. But the submission that we finished with now, the trachea choke, will be here. All right, I'm going to take this, come around here, on his neck here. This is going to come behind his head, here. And now I'm going to pull my elbow backwards to finish. This elbow will be pulled backwards. So I'm here, this comes behind his head, this way, and I'll pull my elbow backwards. I don't want to squeeze or anything, I just want to pull, or as far as like using my muscles, I don't want to like, ugh. all I'm doing is pulling backwards with my elbow. Once I get my locks in place, once I lock this in place, once I lock this in place, just pull my elbow backwards. Very simple. All right, so fast speed.